The terminology and words used to describe skin lichens are very important for dermatologists and clinicians, basically for doctors, not so much for the average Joe. We use these terms to accurately describe any skin lesion to a fellow doctor. And to the skilled eye, they can be highly diagnostic. Any change in the skin has to be one of two things, either change in the color of the skin or the shape of the skin, or sometimes both. Changes in the color include macules and patches. Macules are basically flat skin lesions that have changed in color and they are less than one centimeter. Patches are flat skin lesions that change in color, which are more than one centimeter. So both macules and patches are flat skin lesions, and the only change in, is in the color. Macules are small and patches are big. The example we have for macules are of course freckles, and the example we have for patches are birthmarks, which are also known as congenital nevus. So that's for flat lesions, it's either macule or patch depending on the size. Now if the lesion rises above the skin, so it becomes raised or elevated, we look again at the size. If it's small, less than one centimeter, it will be known as a papule. And if it's large, more than one centimeter, it will be known as a plaque. Keep in mind, if the papule, which is a small raised lesion, becomes infected, and has pus inside it, it will be known as a pustule instead of a papule. The examples we have for papules are, of course, acne, and the example we have for plaques is psoriasis. So to put it simply, raised lesions that are small are known as papules, and raised lesions that are large are known as plaques. Sometimes a raised lesion can have some fluid inside, and this will change the terminology. And of course, all lesions that contain fluid will rise above the skin. If the fluid containing lesion is less than one centimeter, it will be known as a vesicle. Keep in mind, vesicles tend to group together in large number but smaller in size. And on the other hand, if the fluid containing lesion is more than one centimeter, it will be known as a bulla. Bulla tends to be larger in size and smaller in number. The most common example for vesicle is of course chickenpox and shingles, which is also known as zoster. And the example we have for bulla is bulla spemphigoid. Don't worry about memorizing or remembering these conditions. We will study them in details in the, in the following videos. So if the raised skin lesion contained fluid and it was less than one centimeter, it will be known as a vesicle. And if the raised skin lesion which has fluid is larger than one centimeter, it will be known as a bulla. Next we have wheels or hives, and these are transitional areas between flat and raised skin lesions. We see it mainly in allergic skin reactions, such as urticaria. These tend to be very red, very itchy, and sometimes warm and painful. It is very characteristic. Once you see it once, you will always remember it. Scales are small skin lesions that would break off or become loose, and these reflect an active, often serious skin condition. They are silvery and rough feeling. And unlike scale, which reflects an active skin condition, crust reflects a previous skin condition. It's basically dry fluids, mostly pus or exudate. There are more terminological terms that we see under the microscope and we will discuss those in the skin layers video. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.